Today we're going to show you two ways that you can vacuum seal jars and you can decide which one's best for you. Hi, I'm Jonathan. And I'm Kylie, and we are the Provident Preppers. Now in our family, we eat a lot of nuts and seeds, but they are definitely a short-term storage item. You can't package these up anyway and have them be good for 30 years. So what we like to do is purchase them in bulk because they're least expensive that way, and we put them in the mason jars, and then we vacuum seal them. Now I wouldn't use oxygen absorbers with these because they're not good candidates. They're higher in fat, which means that they will go rancid in storage, and they're higher in moisture. So these just are not good candidates for um, an oxygen absorber, but they are perfect for vacuum sealing. So first, Jonathan's gonna show you how to use a food saver vacuum sealer along with the attachment, and then we're gonna take you out to our freeze dryer and show you how easy it is to do to vacuum seal in our freeze dryer. We're going to start by using our food saver with the jar sealer attachment. And look, there's a wide mouth and a narrow mouth. You gotta make sure you pick the right one. That's right. So we're taking off the ring. We'll leave, uh, obviously, the lid on there. And this food saver just, uh, this piece comes off. This is for a different sealing attachment. Um, we're gonna just poke that in there and put it on vacuum mode and away we go. Uh, sounds like we might be getting close here. There we go. All right. So as we pull this off, you can hear that lid seal on there. And there you go. And the reason why this is important is because oxygen degrades the food in storage, right? So if we can pull out that oxygen, um, then it will just really increase the shelf life. We still need to store it in a cool, dry, dark location because light will also degrade it. But now I should be able to get, depending on how cool my storage conditions are, uh, I'd say between three and five years in this. Um, but now let's go show you an even easier way to vacuum seal the jars. To vacuum seal in the freeze dryer, it's a fairly simple process. We're going to pull this rubber ring off. Just set it here out of the way for a minute. Then we'll pull the tray holder out and disconnect the cord. And we'll just tuck that back inside. And it looks like we'll use this as an opportunity to clean the interior of the freeze dryer, which probably got plastered with milk duds <laughs> that it just went crazy growing. With the freeze dryer now empty, we're going to invert one of the trays and just slide it right in like that. That's going to allow us the maximum ability to put um, bottles of goods in here. As we put the jars in, we're going to make sure that this lid is fairly loose so that it can pull a vacuum and get the air out. We now have 10 jars in here and we will now replace the rubber ceiling ring here. And we won't need the pillow because we're not needing to insulate. So we'll go ahead, go ahead and close this up. So you can see that it drew a good vacuum because this door will not budge. So we're gonna open the valve here to release the vacuum. And now the door will open up. These 10 jars have now been vacuum sealed. You can see that that lid is on there. It's been sucked down. It is good and tight. So we'll go ahead and pull all these out and then we can just snug those rings back down again. Okay, so for us, this is probably just shy 
of a year's supply of um, our pumpkin and sunflower seeds and our everything bagel, whoops, and our everything bagel um, seasoning. That, you know, the everything bagel is just fantastic. When I make homemade bread for John, um, I just pour it all over the top. I don't even mix it in and the flavor is amazing, amazing. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it will go rancid very quickly if it's not preserved in some way because it's seeds, right? And seeds are high in fat and um, moisture, which means that they're not a candidate for oxygen absorbers, but they're perfect for vacuum sealing. And because we buy it in bulk, we can save a lot of money and we're able to reuse these jars every year. And because it's dry pack, I'm comfortable reusing the lids. So I thought it was super slick to be able to just put them in our um, freeze dryer and have them vacuum seal it. Absolutely. That was really slick. Now there were two of them that didn't seal. And so we had to um, vacuum seal them. So make sure that you always check. Um, another thing that happened was the first time it sprayed a little bit of water back on it, but the hose wasn't even in the pump. So I'm not quite sure what that was all about, um, but it didn't affect the product in the bottle or anything, but that was just really cool. And the other way that we did it was with this um, food saver vacuum sealer with the lid attachments. And those have been out of stock for a while, but they are now available. At least when I looked on Amazon the other yeah. day, they're back. So you might wanna nab those. If you're interested in vacuum sealing, um, they are a great thing to have. So pretty cool, we learned a new thing today. And now for the question of the day. What methods do you like to use to preserve your short-term storage? Comment below. And thanks for being part of the solution.